My name is Kimo Kahawano, and I've been the host and the director of the Kodak Kula Show for the past oh, little over two years. And it's 56 year heritage, that's a short period of time, but it's an honor for me to get the opportunity to be here. My background is that I started as a Hawaiian dancer here in the islands, and I got into choreography and direction and got into radio and television here in Hawaii. Here at the Kodak Kula Show, of course, we get people from all over the world. People from the Orient, people from Europe, across the United States, and Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, South America, Mexico, you name it, the people are here. And, they, and they're, you know, they're willing to come forward and say, you know, I'm from this part of the world. My role is to just allow people to enjoy, to have fun, uh, to get involved, to tangibly be a part of our culture through this, the Kodak Kula Show. And I enjoy it, every minute of it. I'm Mae Brown. I'm the director of show here. I've been here for the past 54 years. Come March, I'll be here 55 years. The, originally, in 1937, the show started at San Susi on the beach at Waikiki. It started on tourists from uh, coming over on the Lurleen, Matsonia, and now more so by plane. And they're just beautiful people from all over the world. Eastman Kodak has been very good to us. They've been real kind, real kind. Great people to work for. The Eastman Kodak Company came to Hawaii so many years ago. They saw here in this special place the beauty, the culture, the heritage. And they thought, now isn't that a reflection of a perfect picture? And so they provided for the people who came here to the islands an opportunity during the daytime to take the best pictures to capture those moments of this Hawaiian culture and the Hawaiian beauty. Our king, the king of the Kodak Hula Show, King Akeo. As he greets you and poses for your pictures, a custom of the Kodak Kulu Show, we share with you the Oli, the voice of Hawaii's past. For we as a people had no written language, and so all history, knowledge, and culture was passed on from one generation to another through the Oli. We extend back to the arrival of the double-hulled canoes from Tahiti to Hawaii with a chant of welcome, Oli Aloha. Una, una, idala, medale hua. Ladies and gentlemen, King Akeo. <laughs> Mahalo anui loa kako. Thank you so very much for joining us here at the longest running show in all of Hawaii, the Kodak Kula Show. We have been here almost 56 years now. And it's a pleasure to share this production with you. It all began because people like yourselves came to the islands back in 1937 and earlier and wanted to take pictures the beautiful islands, the wonderful hula dancers, and the musicians. Well, it was very difficult to do that in the nightclub shows, so the Eastman Kodak Company came to Hawaii. They sought out the finest production of that time, and they made this very special picture-taking show. They found these lovely ladies at the Pink Palace, the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. And from that day through today, they have always been the stars of the Kodak Hula Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely ladies of the Royal Hawaiian Girls Glee Club.
wonderful ladies. And they'll be back. I'd like to introduce myself at this time. I'm the director and the host of the Kodak Kula Show. My name is Kimo Kahoano, just the third of the hosts who have, have been a part of this program. Originally, it was Fritz Herman, the man who really had a lot to do with putting it all together. And then Joe Mitchell for 18 years, and, and now Kimo Kahoano. Okay, so everybody say Kimo. That's right, that's Jim, James, Jaime, that's Kimo, not Kimo Sabe. That's Kimo. And it's an honor to introduce this lady to you because she has spent a lifetime of commitment to the Kodak Hula Show as a young girl, as a hula dancer, as a musician, and she is the great lady of the Kodak Hula Show. Ladies and gentlemen, your hostess, May Brown. Aloha kakahiaka, iao koa paoloa, and the beautiful soft-spoken language of the Hawaiians means a lovely morning to all of you from all of us here on the show. And now to begin our program, we'd like to take you back to old Hawaii, where we present to you our ancient hulas and ancient chants. We have a beautiful chanter who does his chanting and a group of lovely dancers. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you a little bit about them. Our chanter is a pure-blooded Hawaiian lady, a, a very young lady, a, photogen, a photogenic person. So get your cameras out when she comes out because she is beautiful and rather rare here. She chants for you a greeting of welcome in Hawaiian. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to present to you the beautiful Lei Anui Nui. Aloha! Aloha! Ano ai kakahi a kakako, a hena ni o ke au nei i Hawaii. A mahalo i a haku o ke aku a. A mahalo i a oi e laka e mai kawahine. Hula kahi ko olapo laka. Aloha e, aloha e, koma kau kau, ha? O bugai kalama kahi kina, ne kau a kai hele no kumu kahi. O bugai kalama kahi kina. Me kau a kai hele no kumu kahi A mai na iwa mehi i aka Me ka pola kei ka uwehi vehi O ino na ka pune na ali'i E ola makau a paulo a lai a lai a lai a E ki e e Ai. 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 E we la ma ka hi ki na e e Ma la ma la ma ha va i ki e e Ku i e ka lo no ke le ka ni e e Alo he ke ku i ni o ka la ni e e Ku i e ka lo no ke le ka ni e e e Alo he ke ku i ni o ka la ni e e Da va i e ka pu a i ni na e e Ka pa a ke a e ma ku a e e Da va i e ka pu a i ni na e e Kapa ake a he ma kuwei he Hai nai a mai ka bua nai he Kala ni ka li ka inuwei he Hai nai a mai ka bua nai he Kala ni ka li ka inuwei he La e ala e ala e kia e kie he And now they do a chant and dance composed for one of our late queens, the late queen Lili Uokalani, 
describing her beautiful body. Ah. And now, folks, if you enjoyed that beautiful chanting and the beating of the God, how about a nice round of applause for Lei Anun Mahalo. And now that you've all seen a bit of old Hawaii, we'd like to bring you back to modern Hawaii. And before we go on any further, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the hula. The hula in the ancient days was a religious or a festival dance, a dance of the impressions of nature, or a dance by which a maiden sought to charm her sweetheart. Each posture, each step, each movement of the hands, each glance of the eyes has a meaning all its own. The hula, as you will see, is a poetry of motions, the hands telling the story of the song, while the swaying of the body adds to the beauty and gracefulness of the dancer. And now so that you may all understand and enjoy our dances all the more, we'd like to present to you our gracious ladies of hula wearing the Hawaiian ladies' formal or ball gown as they demonstrate for you the gestures and hand movements telling the story of the song. The first motion they do for you is that of the sun and the moon, the stars, the heavens and the skies, and the soft, gentle The strong, blustery winds. 
the flowers and the lovely day. accompanied by the ancient implements you see placed before the girls. These ancient implements were used for rhythm before the guitar, the ukulele was introduced to the Hawaiians. Now for their first set of ancient implements, they used the double slit bamboo sticks called the pu'ili, and they do for you ale koki. Their next ancient em implement called the feathered gourd or the uli uli, they do for you moku kiakahi, telling of the sailor and his one masted schooner. Oh! 
about that, folks? Have you, are you learning anything? Are you enjoying yourselves? Wonderful. There's much, much more to come, so sit tight. At this time, we'd like to present to you the Kodak Fashion Show, where we have five lovely ladies to model for you. They're mu'u mu'us. And if you look down to their feet, you'll find that they're all barefooted. And this is quite appropriate to do so with this dress, because it is our casual and informal wear. The ladies complement their colorful mu'us with the beautiful fashion Hawaiian costume jewelry, the kukui nut necklace, and earrings. They wear fresh flower lays in their hair around their necks and carry them on their arms. <laughs> Some of you will receive some beautiful flower lays. And uh, while we're doing that, we'd like to share with you the official lay giving ceremony. And we have an anniversary couple we'd like to bring forth. Okay, now, uh, Gerhard, would you, would you come next to, right, stand right there? And then your lovely wife stand next to you. Okay, Irene. And the reason for this is because in the Hawaiian culture, ladies and gentlemen, the man was always first. Always. Was. Anyway, so we're going to start with you, sir. We're going to start with you, Auntie. Just relax, and uh, Auntie will take care of the rest. Okay, that's for your, your head lay, your lay pole. That'll make you the chief of your family. Isn't that nice? And now whenever you give a lay, you give a kiss. That's why she shared that kiss with you. Honey. So now you're gonna honey your honey. Okay? Now, oh, 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 oh! You have to kiss her. That's what this is all about. There we go. Isn't that terrific? What is the secret to a long, successful marriage like yours? Well, you have to be tolerant. 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 Okay. Answer? Happiness. Happiness. The smart man. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show, please. 55 years, ladies and gentlemen. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Auntie. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to share with you part of the uh, tradition of the Kodak Coolest Show. This is your Kodak moment.
I stand for our wonderful musicians, ladies and gentlemen. Mahalo. And now we, we do what we have been doing for many, many years. We take a picture-taking moment, so to speak, uh, 10 minutes. And during this 10 minutes intermission time before the second half, we'll allow you to come down on the grass area and take pictures with our Moikane, King Akeo, with all of the hula dancers. And we're going to be doing different crafts. We have over there, we're going to make a tea leaf hula skirt over there. We have the implements to take pictures with. Over here, we'll make some flower lace. And over there, we'll be making some poi out of taro. And I know you want to take that secret back home. focus on not the hula but the Tahitian dance for my cousins from Tahiti. You see the Hawaiians really migrated from Tahiti to Hawaii many many years ago and that was hard for people to believe not only uh, from the mainland and, the, and Europe and the Far East but also here in Hawaii. So in 1976 the bicentennial celebration of America a double hull canoe was fashioned here in Hawaii and they set sail from Hawaii to Tahiti. It was called the Hokulea. It still sails today. In fact, it just returned from Rarotonga. And it really established the fact that the Hawaiians and the people of the Pacific had a system of, of navigation involving the stars and the heavens. And then when the clouds were covering the ocean currents, and also the flight patterns of the birds could tell them a lot. And so we share with you the essence of our cousins and their dance of joy. Otea Tahiti. Thank you. 
we have Kule Aloha. And for the drummers, ladies and gentlemen, the gentlemen, and the ladies. Mahalo. And now we bring the focus back to the Hawaiian hula. In fact, to a special song that was written by one of Hawaii's great composers, R. Alex Anderson. He's 98 years old today. It's still a part of the great music of Hawaii. And he wrote this song because he realized how beautiful the hula girl was and how special the dancing was. And he wrote this song in English so that people all over the world could fall in love with this lovely, Hula hand. Yeah. 
forms of the hula logically came the comic hula and so we share with you as we have in many years past some wonderful comedic hula by a very special talent her name is Lena Ala Young but we affectionately call her Auntie Pudgy so everybody say aloha Auntie Pudgy as she does for you the Princess Pupule Auntie Pudgy Instructors, we're going to teach you a wine hula, really a wine style. Now this is a family hula, so this hula belongs to everybody. I want to share with you one of the first hulas I ever learned. It was, it's for the men. And uh, this is for you guys out there. It tells about a handsome, bronze-bodied man does many things to prove his strength. Ladies?